Hi all. It's been a while since I created a video and I just really since I'm retired I just haven't been creating many videos. Anyway, I thought I would do one today because now that I have retired from my full-time job, I ran into a situation where I had to redo the, the hard drive drives actually on my computer and I now no longer have access to the Microsoft Office Suite or Office 365 without paying for it and since I'm retired I don't use an office suite very much so I really couldn't justify buying or or paying for office so I thought I would try some of the free office suites out there and I remembered when I was teaching and I, I would tell my students who also could not afford the office suite to use a program called open office and it worked well it, it wasn't a bad program it wasn't bad at all uh, but I, it was a I, I'm gonna say it was a little clunky those are my words all right it did work it worked fine however I found LibreOffice and the LibreOffice suite is uh, so far wonderful absolutely great it has a word processor which they call writer it has an Excel spreadsheet which they call calc um, and it has you know all the other features it has a like a PowerPoint thing and um, the only thing I didn't find in it was a database which I didn't use out of the office suite anyway but anyway the, the one thing there's a small learning curve using LibreOffice even for those of us who grew up with Microsoft Office and the learning curve is just really the, the matter of where do you find things all right they're they're kind of similar but yet they're not so after that short learning curve and the, the curve wasn't real steep and there's a lot of help online for it uh, I, I find I actually am almost liking it as much as if not even better in some ways than the Microsoft Office Suite. Anyway, I digress. The one problem that I did have or was having with Libre Writer, which is the word processor, was printing envelopes. Now, I don't print envelopes often, you know, once a month, and that's when some of the bills that I pay don't come with a return envelope when I print my own. And I could never get Libre Office Writer to properly print an envelope. So I finally came up with a way that really seems to work well for me. So, and I thought I would share it with those of you who may be having similar problems. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do in this video. And let's get started. So let me switch over to the desktop and you'll see my little buddy Ling here he's he's a little uh, mini pincher we're out for a walk on the rails to trails here in the area and let's start LibreOffice Writer now I have a shortcut on my desktop for LibreOffice Writer I also have one in my quick launch on the taskbar all right, um, so however you start your LibreOffice, you, you just get it started. By the way, LibreOffice is absolutely free. The whole suite is free up to use. Um, so, you know, hey, download it, install it on as many machines as you want, it's fine. So anyway, I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna launch it and I'm gonna launch the writer. And you can see that it, it comes up and it starts and I have it in dark mode and actually the Libre Office writer default in dark mode um, I at one point did not care for dark mode in any program but the more I use it the more I like it anyway that's neither here nor there any uh, so you'll see that it, it comes up almost just like office uh, Microsoft 
word comes up. Um, and and I have my LibreOffice set to resemble Microsoft Office, where I was using the tabs with the palettes. Um, I got used to that, and I really like it. You can not use it, and you can just use a menu bar across the top. So either way that you have your writer set up, these things are going to work for you. All right, so the first thing, you know, when you open a new doc, when you open up Writer, it comes up and it has a new document here. If you come in, let me come in a different way. I'll just close this down and I'll just, I have a shortcut for LibreOffice. I'll double click on LibreOffice and now it comes up with this screen and you can choose whether you want a Writer document or a Calc spreadsheet or an Impress presentation. They have a drawer drawing they you can do formulas and they do have a database here sorry I never noticed that before so I'm gonna start it this way writer document and it's gonna do the exact same thing as it did when I launched it from my quick start so in this now what I want to do here is I want to do an envelope and I'm gonna do a number 10 envelope so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the paper size to make it a number 10 envelope. Now to do that, there's a couple of ways. You can come up, if you have the menu up here, you could do format, and then you can do page style, which is right here. You click there and you will get a dialog box up. That's page style dialog. That's one way to get there. Let me cancel this out. If you have the tabs showing, you can use the layout tab. You can use the paper size and you'll see that it only shows letter in here. But if you say more options, it brings up the same dialog box. So however you get there, it's up to you. So I'm going to set this now to a number 10 envelope. So here under pay, under the page tab of this dialog box under format, I'm going to click down and I'm going to scroll down. You can see there's a whole bunch of different si things, paper sizes here. I'm going to choose a number 10 envelope and it all automatically sets everything. I'm going to leave this in portrait mode. I'll explain that as to why shortly. And I'm going to set my margins to a half an inch. Now you can use the the roller bars, the roller buttons here, or I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna type a 0 0.5, tab to the next field, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then leave the gutter alone. And I'll say, and I don't need anything else on this page or on this area set. And I'm gonna say apply and okay. You can see now that my paper size has changed to an envelope that's in, um, portrait style. Now, the reason I use portrait is because of my printer. So whatever printer you have, you'll have to change how your orientation lays on your printer. So let me switch back to the camera here for a minute. Maybe. <laughs> okay, there. Camera. All right, and here I have a number 10 envelope. Now my printer is not wide enough to accept an envelope like this in portrait or in landscape mode. I have to put it in, in portrait mode. So the problem with the LibreOffice envelope printer, and it does have an option for printing envelopes, is that I can't get it to rotate everything to print my envelope correctly. So I, I came up with this way of being able to do that. So I have to feed my envelopes in to my printer this way and also in the center of the tray. All right, so this is why I'm doing this. Again, you'll have to make different adjustments for your the way your printer feeds envelopes so let me switch back to the laptop again okay so here we are 
Now, the next step in this whole process is I need to get the information on it. So I am going to insert a text box in here. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to do that also. If you have the tabs in, we can say insert text box. Or if you're using the menu up here, we can say insert text box. Or if you don't have any of those options, you can say view toolbars drawing and it will open a drawing toolbar down at the bottom and you'll see there's a text box here. All right, so I'm going to close that menu. I don't like that menu being up and that, you know, that's just my preference. So view toolbars, I'm going to turn the drawing off and I am now going to insert a text box. I'll click on text box and I'll come down onto the envelope. All right. And I will just drag a text box onto the page. Now the font in LibreOffice Writer, I, I have my font, my default font sent to Verdonda because I just like Verdonda. It's screen reader friendly. You can tell the difference between the letter I and the number one and the capital letter and the small letter L. You can change, you can tell the difference between an O and a zero. Um, some fonts, I, I you can't tell the difference. They use like the same character for some of the things. So I always set my font. So I'll come up here right now. It's on Libration Serif. I'm going to drop this down and I want Verdonda. Now I don't have to scroll this list. All I have to do is press the V to bring up Verdonda. I'll, I'll then click on Verdonda and I'm going to leave my, my font size at 12 points. And in the text box, I'm going to now type my return address. So I'll say return to name. Okay. Return to street, return to city, state, and zip. Okay, so you put that in there. You can also resize this box. So if I click on it, I clicked on the edge, you could see that you have handles in here so that you can resize the box as needed. All right, so you can resize it. The idea though is that that box is not positioned correctly. What I want to do is I want this box to go this way. So I'm going to click outside of the text box to deselect it. And then I'm going to move my mouse on top of the text and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say rotate. You'll see that I get like an orange hand, orange handles up at least on here. The center dot says that I can move that dot around. I'm not going to do that, but I can move that dot to reference the center point to where I'm going to, or the pivot point to where I'm going to be rotating. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to take this. This is one way to do it. If you move your mouse over on one of these dots, you'll see that it turns into a little rotate arrow. And I'm going to, then click and drag and it rotates the text box. Now you, you know, I looked at that and say, how do I know when it's really straight? So I'm going to just leave it. I'm going to just leave it there and I'm going to let it go. And then I'm going to come over on the frame and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say position and size and the position and size dialog box. And in the wrote, there's a rotation tag. Well, the rotation angle I can now set. So I can set it. Let me see if I can pull this aside here. I, I don't know if this will be live. I haven't tried this. So I can set the rotation angle with this guy, or I can just type it in. And I happen to know that it's 270 degrees because of the way I want it rotated. So I'm going to say, okay. And you'll see that it rotated the way I want it. Now I'm just going to click outside to deselect it. I'm going to click in the box to select it. And then I'm just going to come back in and I'm going to drag it to where I want it positioned. 
and you can position this anywhere now I have a laser printer so it can't print beyond a half an inch I think actually I think it can go out to a quarter inch but I'm going to put it right here now that I have the return address on it I need to put the main address on so I can redo that whole step insert the text box change the font all that stuff or I can just copy this text box so I'm going to come in here and you can use control C if you want with the box select it or I can do a right click and say copy I'm gonna click away and I'm going to say right click paste now it pastes it right on top of that but I'm just gonna take this on the on the border and I'm gonna drag this away just like that so now I have two of them and you look at that and say oh man do I gotta actually type vertically no you don't if you come into the text box and double click I just what I did was I wanted to move it double click notice it makes it horizontal and now I can change the text in here this is going to be my sender to name my sender street and my sender city state and zip and I'm going to click away and it and then click off of it and it positions with the new information but I want to do some fine positioning of that so I want to be able to see the entire envelope and there's also a couple of ways to do that from the menu I can say view zoom entire page or I can come over on the tabs and say view entire page so I'm going to just use it while I'm here view entire page and now I can see the entire envelope and I'm just going to come on to this click on it and then drag it to where I want it and then click away to take a look and there's my envelope and it will print in the direction I want it to print in now if you're like me or if you, I have certain envelopes that I print every month so like the sewer company doesn't send a return envelope the garbage collection doesn't return and it doesn't include a return envelope you know and there's other things that you, you just need an envelope sometimes so for some of those I save the envelope so I don't have to redo it all the time I just open it and reprint it now something that I learned the hard way <laughs> was that I have my LibreOffice writer set to save files in Microsoft Office format so I'm going to save this file so I'm going to just again however you want to save it I'm not going to do control s because I want to do a save as so either on this icon or through the file menu I'll use the file menu and I'll say save as and you can see that I default to word 2007-365 with a dot docx extension and that's what I prefer because I do share my documents with people who do have office Microsoft Office however what I learned is that saving the envelope in the dot docx format does not save the text rotation so in order to prevent in order to save the rotation what I did was I had to save this in the LibreOffice format so on the save as type I drop this box down and I choose the ODF text document which is a dot ODT format and then I just change the name of this and I'm going to just change this to say um, used for video and I'll say save and then I can print this and I'll get a nice envelope actually what I'll do is I'll print this envelope so let me just get back here to the printer and I just moved away from the computer a little bit I put the envelope in my printer 
and let me just do I have a shortcut for the printer here or I can just do file print again however you do things print it I want to keep it in the portrait mode everything looks good here I'm just gonna say print and I'll let that print out you can see I'm using a, an HP color laser it's a P1518NI great little printer I don't know if they make them anymore but it's a great little printer it's given me several many years of good service so far so we'll let that envelope print Great, and then let me switch back over to the camera. And hopefully you can see that it printed the envelope. And I think it prints the envelope really, really well. I like this a lot. And it's, you know, I it does it. <laughs> so I'm happy with this. And I thought what I would do is I would share it with you folks and in case you had any issues with printing envelopes out of Libri um, and their their option to do envelopes, which works, all right, it works fine. It just doesn't work with my printer. So if you ever had the problem with it, you can use this method or something similar to do it. So I thought I would share this with you. Um, so, you know, I've got some projects and some videos planned I've been I did some work with our some Arduinos um, uh, and in some industrial sensors that I, I, I I'm working on I'm gonna share that with all of you folks and um, so anyway I've, I've got some videos planned but I'm retired so they, they come in dribs and drabs um, I also have a model building YouTube channel which is at skips messy workbench dot well, Skip's Messy Workbench right, on YouTube, but I also have a website, skipsmessyworkbench.com, and I have jtodora.com for uh, the technical stuff and for nice things. So anyway, I'm done. <laughs> I hope this helped. If you needed it, you know, I just thought it was something that needed to be done. All right, so listen, I will see you again real soon. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm um, and uh, if you have any comments go ahead give it a give it a comment I I try to to, to respond to everybody who does comment so um, and if I don't I'm sorry I, it's not that I didn't want to I may have just missed it all right so again give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it and I know I keep looking that way because I'm looking at my other monitor <laughs> so I will see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. I want to thank you all for watching and if you like what is what you saw give it a thumbs up if you don't like it you can give it a thumbs down but you know I would prefer a thumbs up and do me a favor if you really liked it smack that subscribe button and if you want to be notified when I release new videos give that bell a ring and set it to all I don't release a lot of videos so I won't be bugging you that much Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.